What's going on guys, Zach Perna is here. He is here in the building. And I've done this intro like six times, it's terrible. Good morning guys, good morning guys. So anyway, um, today's video guys is a whole rundown of my current cutting diet uh, leading up to a photo shoot in about two weeks. So bit of context, the photo shoot is for the secret brand that me and Joel are launching. Joel being my brother, if you're new to the channel. Um, and we cannot tell you guys exactly what it is yet, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of our studio slash factory slash HQ today, where we will be dispatching um, said brand. So uh, it's pretty exciting guys, and I wanna show you that. Uh, and also, while we're at the studio, I'm gonna do a little Gymshark haul, because they have a sale coming up on the 7th, I believe, so we're gonna get that done. Shit. But uh, essentially in terms of my diet, I'm gonna take you guys through what I've been eating nearly every day now and it is gonna be low calories. So like I said, I have a shoot in two weeks and I have a very weird approach now to photo shoots in that in the last couple of weeks, if I feel like I'm not lean enough, which I currently feel like I could lose a little bit, if I can, I will take a fair bit of calories out. So protein remains super high. I will drop a bit of fats, which I don't like to do because I love having a moderate to high fat diet, but I will drop the fats and I will just keep enough carbs in to keep me sane, basically. And also so my performance doesn't go down. So it's a very like intuitive um, approach because I'm walking the balance of not feeling like shit, also not being too hungry, also maintaining energy in the gym. So as soon as I kind of feel like any of those goes out of whack, I'll put more food in um, because I've been doing this for like 10 years. So I'm pretty much at the stage where I can feel like if I know I'm under eating, I will eat more food, okay? So I wouldn't recommend you guys just follow my diet today, but what I would say is here's a bit of insight into into what I'm eating basically, because there's some meals in here that are super low calorie and they fill you up and they taste amazing. So we're gonna do cardio first and then I will train later. So I depends, sometimes I'll train in the morning and do cardio if I, depends what the day is. But um, I wanna train with Joel tonight, we're gonna train some arms. So we'll have a big juicy arm work in later today uh, and I will do my cardio now. So, cardio time. Done and dead. 40 minutes, done. It actually goes quick. I just read, literally just jump on there with the iPad and read the whole time. Um, it's, it's all right, gets it done. And now I'm gonna have a swim. And when I say swim, I actually mean sitting in this pool like an absolute weirdo. Seriously, it, it, this is like a cold shower, except cold showers annoy me because you gotta like move around in them. This, I just sit still and it's freezing. But I feel better after. And I know it looks sunny, but it's really, whew, it is cold as Breakfast is served. Now, like I said earlier, it is just about filling up here with little calories, but I still want a bit of enjoyment. So we have some lovely poached eggs here, um, that egg white and capsicum and low fat cheese, AKA fake cheese omelet, um, which I'll just put a little bit of relish or tomato sauce, whatever I'm feeling. And um, and yeah, and that'll pretty much do me because this, this will fill me up for a few hours, I'd say. It's the best thing about egg whites. No nutritional value except protein. But just so much volume here and little calories. Killed it? Mm hmm. Perfect poached eggs. Dad's here, and what has he got? Chas here. Whole sec. Mum speaks Cantonese. No, I don't. Well, you just said whole sec. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Definitely wasn't English. <laughs> What did you just say? I said, whole sec. What's that mean? It means it's good food. We'll see about that. That's so good. Right, mm. That's mine. Well, I'm gonna fry that up with the chow siu. Mm. Hello, Mandy. Mm. What are you eating? Eating some treats. Treat? It tastes good. <laughs> Now, I've really been enjoying this barramundi salad lately. Just add whatever kind of salad you like. I love cos lettuce. Why? Well, just cos. Sorry. And we're gonna air fry the fish today, but an oven is also perfectly fine. Salt and pepper the barramundi, throw a bit of allspice on there, add some coconut oil, and then air fry it for 15 minutes. Now to assemble the salad, definitely eat the crispy bit first, and cover it with fried shallots for some nice, tasty crunch. 
Dressing today is a sweet soy sauce and QB mayo. And this is the lunch. So this can also be dinner, sometimes I change it up, but, um, and like I said, I might add rice to this if I'm feeling like I need carbs, but today I'm actually not that hungry, so this will do the job. Um, and it, it's annoying because like, my carbs here are coming from a little bit of that sweet sauce, the fats are coming from mayonnaise, it's not really like, it's not the best use of uh, nutrients because obviously you want good fats. If you want carbs, you're better off not having sugar. Uh, but anyway, tastes good. And then at this point, like I said, in my diet at this point, it's kind of like. So yeah, not the best use of my nutrients, but it's all good. It's just, it's, this is just to fill me up and keep me happy. Because honestly, when I have this, it doesn't really feel like I'm dieting. So that's. It's a win-win. Uh, anyway, now we're gonna go to the factory slash warehouse HQ. So this is it, guys. Whatever you wanna call it, the new brand, me and Joel, and, uh, and show you guys around because we've had some new things go in there, some new shelving and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very exciting. Let's do it. That's my daughter. This is my dad. I gotta fill you guys in. This is something we're laughing about at the moment. Have you guys seen, I'm asking like it's a question, you have to watch Godfather of Harlem on uh, Stan, I think. It's got Forrest Whitaker and he is hilarious. He's so funny. Because we just found that at the end of every sentence, he does this with his lips. And he says, my daughter. And he, and he always says, it's my daughter. There's something about daughter. And Dooji. What about the Dooji? <laughs> yeah, so if you guys hear us say daughter, it's because of that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the factory now. Because that's where my daughter lives. Case, <laughs> case in point. Uh, then the guys have put the shelving in, so I'm actually super excited because I haven't seen any of that yet, which would be sick. Put your fucking belt on. So this is it, guys. This is the secret slash not secret. Factory and warehouse operations. I need to come up with a better name. The HQ for the brand that you guys are yet to see. So again, if you guys want to see what's going on, actually be the first to find out. I put together a little email list below that you guys can sign up to um, because I don't know whether these things will sell out quick. We don't have a lot of stock when we start making what we're making. So I'm still cryptic. So if you guys want to be the first to get it and guarantee, check your email below. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be sick. But anyway, now that I'm here in the studio, I'm gonna show you some of the Gymshark items that I would recommend grabbing if you wanna save a lot of money because Gymshark are having the sale on the 7th. Um, what time is it? 7 p.m. BST. And if you guys wanna stock up, I'd highly recommend you grab these outfits. So, let's take a look. So first outfit, we have the Arrival collection. Arrival sleeveless and also the Arrival pants. Super, super comfy. And then this one, we have the lift shorts and then also the Apex T, which is another favorite. And here we have the Via T-shirt, which has always been one of my favorites. Comfy, stretchy, a little bit tight as well. Change your shorts. Again, same shorts, just different color. Uh, shirt. And this is the Apollo T in white. Oh. And this is the Crest Zip Up. One of the comfiest hoodies Gymshark make, in my opinion. Just a staple. Where's my shoe? Joel, shoe. What do we have? Fit tapered bottoms, black. Just another Gymshark essential, must have. What else? Ooh. And also, critical stringer. I think this one is 50% off, could be. Big discount on this one. And that is it guys, so if you wanna shop any Gymshark on the sale, which is the 7th of June, please use my commission link, because I get a little kickback, and happy shopping. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna do it then. <laughs> uh, before we leave here, Joel, is there anything you wanna uh, say to hype this? About this business? About our brand, yeah, I've told him it's a brand. Um, and you want to let them know in advance? You're going to be very, very comfortable. Oh, okay. Yeah. The big tip. Yes. Okay. All right, guess, guys. Start guessing. Wrapping up here. I <laughs> got the, the live sheep back on. Um, and then we're going to go home and train some arms. Sound good? Joel? Three, two, one. <laughs> And a little bit of pride rainbow candy. So this is the new flavor and it is amazing. Um, you can get this link below.
she really looks I good. wouldn't fucking stand your body stand. <laughs> He's saying this because the last time I asked Joel to help me film, he said, no, I'm going to have a steak and a bath instead. You lunge forward as well. It's always the, <laughs> it's always the head comes yeah, forward. Yeah, head comes forward. All right, let's go big, hey. big turtle back, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have pink eyes, sweetheart? No, you can't even tell. Yeah, because I took my fucking dog medicine, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Should we leave that in there and see if anybody guesses the movie? Yeah. See if anyone just guesses that. Take your fucking dog medicine, sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone else is so confused now. I know. You're all going to go home and take dog medicine and blame yeah. me. Right? Don't take dog medicine. <laughs> Unless you like it. So post-workout, I'm not going to have a traditional post-workout meal of my usual cereal with um, isobept, berries, rice pops, and cinnamon. Um, I'm going to have a big salad. So these are great for, to fill the goods. They're good sack fillers. In other words, low calorie, super high volume. So tonight's salad is a chicken breast with panko crumbs, and Dad's going to help me. Slice the chicken, we dip it in egg, and coat it in panko, spray it with a little bit of oil, air fry it, for 12 minutes. Then just gonna chop up cucumber, avocado, tomatoes, and then add it to the salad with goat's cheese. And what's the other ingredient? Oh, and relish and mayo. I literally tried to recreate a, uh, a wrap because like the relish and the mayo, and it's so good. Where's the relish? Nah, that one. There's, that's a new one. Ah, it's just killing my shot. <laughs> Here we go. That's the chutney, the relish. All right, let's do this. Dinner is served. And that is pretty much, I could have this every single night. In fact, we pretty much did for a while. Uh, it's filling and it's just, it's just nice. It hits the spot. Good? Good, and Joel and Mandy have taken, <laughs> I call her Mandy for real now, I can't, I can't know. Joel's girlfriend is Amanda, but the name's Mandy. Um, yeah, they've taken it to the couch and I might sit with you, Dad. You look, you look like Steven Glansberg. What, so I gotta sit here and eat dessert alone like I'm fucking Steven Glansberg? So last meal of the day, it is time for my before bed ice cream. So this is a staple, especially at the end of a cutting diet when I just want something sweet at night. It tastes like actual ice cream and it also only has three ingredients. 200 grams of mixed berries, 50 ml of almond milk, and one scoop of EHP Labs vanilla protein.
And then you'll have something like this. Absolutely awesome, so sweet, so nice. And I'm pretty sure you have to use EHP Labs Vanilla Protein, otherwise it might possibly be the worst thing you've ever consumed. It probably wouldn't be, but it might be. It's You can't rule it out. Um, and then any toppings you want, just for, for fun, have fun's out. <laughs> Putting toppings on food, that's fun. It's something for the kids. Um, no, but I'm using, um, hey kids, today we're just putting toppings on your desserts. How good is that? Just right. Um, I just saw this the other day at the shop, granola and cereal, and I was hungry and I went, mmm. So um, that, but I did want to show you guys uh, the other hack that I do with this ice cream, which is uh, grated zucchini. So I'll make this and then I'll grate zucchini, like peel it, and then grate it into this and then mix it. Um, and it tastes like nothing. <laughs> like it just, it just fills you up and it makes this like high volume thing, adds a bit of texture, it's actually not bad. But um, because you don't have the peel, you can't actually taste it. It just kind of adds a bit of volume. So um, that's like another little cutting hack, I guess, that I use when I'm, when I'm dieting. But, um, but this is like amazing. I haven't actually tried it with any other flavors. How's that? I've just done vanilla like my whole life. I've done this like three years. Mmm, so good, um, so good. But guys, that is it for this video, pretty much. That is it for this, this day of eating, adventuring, vlogging around. I actually put a fair bit of effort into this in terms of like the creative aspect of it, because it's fun. Like it's actually, I'm enjoying doing that a little bit more. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like, <laughs> she, she took a long time. I guess I put more effort into actually making the video, um, which is like what I enjoy anyway. So um, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But, um, but otherwise, that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. For, for some reason, if you're still watching this, you're the best. And like the video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, um, and please do that. That will be good. And otherwise, I've got nothing left for you, and you guys definitely know what to do. If you don't, stay massive. <laughs>